I have a RuneScape problem. I've been playing this game for nearly two decades, and I'm still not playing at the level I would like to be. To be one of the best players in the game requires you to hit several keys on your keyboard in rapid succession, and missing just one key can break everything. An experienced player will be sticking to a rotation, which varies very little from boss attempt to boss attempt, based on RNG. Telos is one of the more difficult boss fights in RuneScape, and fighting Telos efficiently, a player will likely have a nearly identical kill to their last kill. You're likely to use the same abilities at the same time in the same order every boss fight. At the highest level of the game, PVM is a lot like a rhythm game, such as Guitar Hero. Quite literally, one of the best PVMers in the game did fight Telos at 4K and Rage on a Guitar Hero controller. He also managed to do it blindfolded, but that's a different story. Okay, I have like no dread right now. I don't know what things are gonna go right now. In Guitar Hero, you get a guide of what buttons to hit and when. While in RuneScape, you need to know what the rotation should ideally look like in your head and what tick you're on. This is what's messed me up as I struggle to remember what abilities I should be hitting and when, as well as being tick perfect on a couple challenging scenarios where everything needs to align perfectly. This is what separates the Grandmaster players from the rest of the player base. This got me thinking. There could potentially be some software that would help players get better at PVM. Sure, you can practice in-game, but this takes valuable resources, time, and you have to have the knowledge of the rotation before you even start. And then, if you mess up at all in a difficult rotation, you're likely to have to reset completely, which can be rather annoying. While I was working on my masters a few years back, I had to design a small program that would showcase some functionality, and I don't remember what those software requirements were, but I do remember I made a prototype for this. And today, I've revamped that prototype to actually work pretty well in-game. Let's go over to the dummies, and I'll show you guys how it works. Alright, let's take a look at some things you can do with this software. Here I am on the PVM Encyclopedia. Um, I'm just looking up a super basic, easy rotation. So, this is a easy berserk rotation um, that I can take and copy. And then I'm going to throw this over in the software. It's going to do some background magic, and I'm going to get back something that looks like this. This is a JSON file, uh, which basically just shows what I'm hitting on what tick. So, checking out this top guy, um, we do Dismember, three ticks later we do Berserk, three ticks later we do a Fury, three ticks later we do a Sever. I'm not going to go down the list, but every three ticks we're basically doing an ability until we end here on Sever. And I'm going to go down below... I'm going to delete this. What this is, is this is the Berserk on cooldown, which um, I don't really feel like I need to demo here. So, super easy rotation. Um, just going to be demoing basically this, this very easy rotation. So, after I add that configuration in, I get something that looks like this. Um, this is a super, super, super easy rotation. My daughter, who doesn't even play this game, could do it. Um, but you get the purpose that basically it comes out, it shows you what you need to hit and when. You get kind of a global cooldown timer down here that's supposed to be very similar to the game. And it kind of just mimics the game so you can memorize your rotation, know what you need to hit and when. Um, important to note there, like, I had Assault going, and uh, I only waited two ticks, and then I hit another ability, so obviously, like, if you want to wait more ticks, you would have to modify that JSON file a little bit um, to wait extra ticks or whatever, but I think, um, for the most part, like, it's pretty easy. You just build your rotation in here, and then you get to practice it over at here. Additionally, I felt like that wasn't really good enough because I was practicing for Telos myself and practicing some rotations, um, but I don't really want to sit here every night and practice and practice and practice. I kind of like want to get in and get actually bossing. So I modified that script a bit to lo look like this guy. Uh, this overlays in the game. It won't go away. I called it Guitar Hero Trainer for now. It's kind of still in prototype phase. But you'll notice it's on my screen, and until I hit this button, it won't go away. So I can have my rotation on screen, and we'll just do this live here. So I do a bleed, and then I'm going to go ahead and zerk, and then it looks like I'm going to hit three, two, one. 
it's one again, but this would really be, I'd need to switch to a two hand. Then I'm gonna do an assault, another sever, another one, dismember, or destroy rather, and then hit this guy. Great, so the rotation worked. You know, everything worked fine as an overlay. That was pretty cool, but it was also pretty easy. I want to see if I can reach 4K Telos with near tick perfect timings. What makes 4K Telos so difficult is hitting one thing just a little off can result in the failure of a kill. Many buttons need to be hit at very specific timings to get efficient, successful kills, which is why I thought it would be the perfect boss to test this software at. I will be using the easiest style possible at Telos, which is Necromancy. I believe the rotation for Necromancy makes Telos easy mode, and maybe I'll save my thoughts for that on another day. Disclaimer, I just am not a huge fan of Necromancy, but if you can't beat them, join them. And since the code mimics the game, you could build any rotation for any boss and try it for any style, but like I said, I'm going to stick to Necromancy and Telos for the purposes of this video. With all that being said, let's look at an example kill I did, and I'll talk about the software more there. All right, let's take a look at this software. So I'm going to show a kill I did at 1500 in Rage to kind of give you guys an idea uh, about how this software works and go into a little more depth about it. So here I am entering the instance, and it's probably a little hard for you guys to see. I don't have my screen. Um, when I filmed this, I didn't have the resolution for streaming. But basically over here, I see that my next ability needs to be life transfer. And then I'm going to um, up my ghost, for example. So I've just landed in. I've just summoned my undead army. And if you don't play RuneScape 3, this is where stuff's going to get very confusing. I'll, maybe you can follow along, but it's probably pretty rough and probably not very entertaining. So I land in. <clears throat> and I simply just see what I need to do over here. And I'm doing it. Here I see I need to alt a drain pot and then surge when this is almost uh, done with the global cooldown. I'm in. I see that I need to Voln Bomb. And again, I'm able to just follow this rotation super easy on the side of my screen here while I'm fighting. Okay, when I land, I'm going to need to Death Skulls, and then I'm going to go into the Soul Sap. Timing there was perfect. I broke the binds. Um, I've won for bladed dive to remember to dive over here to get closer to the ledge. So I know, okay, I'm going to land. I'm going to death school, and then I'm going to bloat, and then I'm going to soul sap. And again, I'm just following the rotation on the side of my screen, and as I'm hitting everything, everything's um, progressing. Here I didn't get the surge in time, but I did know I was supposed to surge across here. Hopefully this is a good kill. I didn't pre-watch this one. Um, I don't really... This might have been before I really knew what to do with minions. Um, so I'm not really sure what I do here, but... And then also down here, it's not a tick perfect rotation. I do have a little wiggle room where I can hit some extra abilities. It's just kind of a general idea of what I should be hitting as I'm playing the game. So I surge over. I know I want to build my stacks up. I know I want to go into a devote. I want to soul sap. I want to anticipate. I want to reflect. It looks like I actually got stunned out here, so I did mess something up. Um, Put the um, ooh, I almost didn't phase him, so that wasn't the cleanest kill right there, but um, everything's still working. I tangle that guy, I surge over, probably go into a reflect here. And here I have a lot of wiggle room because these two abilities are the last abilities of the phase, so I'm kind of just uh, you know. Doing what I want to do right here, resummoning my ghosts, and then I know I pop that. 
And in this last phase here, this should be pretty interesting. So I know the necromancy rotation is pretty funny. You basically need to pray mage, surge forward, reflect, and then you just natty and um, barricade. So I natty, death school, alt, barricade. And then here it's just the finger of death all the way until the end. So yeah, this software has worked really well for me and I think uh, other players could find a lot of different uses for it. I used the PVM Discord to build the rotation for Telos. I climbed easily to 2000 in Rage, but I never hit 4K. Unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately, that came out wrong, but I have a baby at home, and so I really just don't have time to play. It was like two months ago when I started my push, and I'm just not playing and fighting Telos as much as I thought I would be. Um, the software is viable, but there are some bosses it's just not very practical at. Like, I tried some stuff at Sanctum, and it's not very practical, especially that first boss. There's so much RNG involved at that first boss of, like, where the moon shards land and everything that it's not really fun to try like these static rotations at but especially for like speed kills and stuff this software could be really good and really helpful towards um memorizing what you need to do for your speed kills longer bosses i maybe wouldn't suggest it at or like i said if there's too much rng involved but bosses like telos where there's not a whole lot of rng you're hitting a very static rotation the same every time this software is really, really, really fun at. I'll be releasing this code for anyone to use shortly. I need to clean it up and make it a little better. It should be down in the description, though. And if you find any problems or bugs with the software, just reach out. I'll try to maintain it and hopefully make it better. I do know it has a lot of quirks, but it works really well for what I'm using it for. Um, of course, like I'll have a readme down there where you can read through how to actually use it and have some more information like that because you have to change your keybinds, obviously, assuming your keybinds are going to be very different from mine. So please, 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 if you have any interest in coding or any co coding background, um, I'd love to have you join in on this project. It'd be cool to also maybe even get it involved with Alt-1 somehow and port it over, but that seems like a really big feature. I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, but yeah, if you have interest, please reach out on my Git or something, and maybe you can join the project. This video took me months to make, and it's unlikely to gain much traction at all in such a small niche game. I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like, um, or a comment, or anything. And also, if you would like, you can follow me on Twitch. I've never streamed yet, but I'm planning on having some big, uh, pretty cool streaming events coming up. So, if you'd follow me, then maybe you'll be seeing more of me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, let me know if you have questions in the comments, and I'll try to be helpful. Have a good day.